Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we're going to look at overweight modern women. They thirst for chat. And the main issue here is this, is that, you know, women are only swiping four and a half percent of the time in these dating apps. And this is aggregate, including attractive and fit women and also very overweight women. And the, the data shows that they're only swiping on the most attractive men, aka Chad. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into the nonsense, uh, I do want to just put a special thanks out to my members. Uh, these are absolute heroes of the channel, to be honest. Uh, they're helping support me. Um, we are moving the live streams. If you are a fan of the live streams, we're going to do those for members only on Fridays. I'm going to do them randomly uh, for you know the rest of you. But the main issue is that we would do the live streams and people would enjoy them. But after the fact, when I released the live streams to, to you guys, you just you didn't really watch them very much. And uh, we actually got a lot of unsubscribes from it. So. Uh, Again, I want to really appreciate these. And I'm going to whistle list my name real quick. Uh, the House, July, Alicia, Jen, Raul, Gerald, Techno, Conrad, B, Susie, Mancini, Eagle, Haya, Freedom, Jason, M, Bipolar, and Kegger. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, or Kager, I don't know which I might have pronounced that wrong. Anyway, thank you so much. And uh, let's get into this nonsense. What kills me? Overweight woman don't want overweight man right but you want a man that's not overweight to want you but you yourself as an overweight woman don't want an overweight man you gotta be kidding me not even you like your body but you expect a man to just come and take you as you are unbelievable you're overweight but you don't want to date an overweight person okay Okay. Yeah, ma'am, this, <laughs> what a very enlightened young lady this is. Absolutely, ma'am. This is exactly the issue. This is the issue in general. Women are like wanting high chemistry from men they're highly attracted to, but they don't care if whatever they look like. They have no makeup on a lot of these pictures. They, they're, they're overweight. They don't even try and they're like, where's this, you know, where's Chad? Where's the man I'm highly attracted to? Why would he take the deal, ma'am? So, and this is, look, overweight men too, should I absolutely said get in shape, get to the gym, get on your purpose, gentlemen, for sure. If you're, you know, you're not fit, the only way you're going to get true desire from a woman is is to be fit. But the, the expectation again, I don't look at all the men's profiles, but these ladies are putting all these requirements in here, of, and they're, you know, they're not uh, prizes themselves. They're ones and twos and threes. Going, where's my high value guy? Well, you know, at, they think average guys are beneath them. This is the whole problem. She's woman speaks facts. We continue. So you know what I hate being a plus size woman on dating apps is how many... By the way, I want to say that one more time. We've talked about the channel before, but this term plus size, big, beautiful, you know, overweight men are just called fat. You can say dad bod is the same thing. No, it's not. Dad bod is like basically a, a fit guy in the upper body or fit everywhere else, but just has like a, a stomach. There's no word for men who, who like this. This is this absolute bullshit by the media who's talking about big, beautiful women over, you know, plus size, all these terms. No, ma'am, you're overweight and you're fat and you can't control your own diet. You have no self-control, continue. The fake profiles I get from guys saying that they love BBWs. I matched with this guy. I thought he's very cute, you know? Chat, he chat. Yeah, yeah, he's Chad. I'm allowed to be highly attracted to someone, but I, they should just accept me. Again, I can be very vain and very, uh, you know, into myself, but you, you know, you don't get anything you want. It's just ridiculous. Oh, please continue, ma'am. And me up and it was a nice conversation and he's not verified. So something was like, Hmm, I wonder I did a Google reverse image search and this is what I found. Like, do y'all see that? Do you see what that says in that image? I know that this person is probably not the person I match with. I think the guy just pulled a cute guy image, but that shit is insane. And I just feel- You know what's also insane, ma'am? Taking no personal responsibility for your own actions. Your diet and exercise is completely controlled by you. Not society, not Lizzo, not your family, not, not men. It's on you to get fit. If you can't find, late ladies, if you find my channel and get mad about it, whatever, but if you can't find the relationship you want, I guarantee if you're if you get fitter, 
you will find men who will take the deal and the kind of men you're highly attracted to. If you're overweight, that is on you. Please continue, man, with your nonsense. Feel oh, so grossed out. Now, look at this crap. So the guy, whatever, if she's trying to say it's the same guy, whatever, but that you, you read this right here, he actually says there, and this is what we've talked about. Hello, sorry to be blunt, but I'm willing to look, get my thing sucked. The pics are not me, but I look a lot like him. So the guy's hiding himself. I guess he's married or whatever. And again, I'm not I'm not saying this is a good thing to do, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am not saying send messages like this. But this is the kind of message, of course, a woman like this is going to get. And they get mad about it. They put it in their profile how I won't, you know, I won't have bedroom fun or whatever. But yeah, this is what they're getting hit up for. They're getting hit up for quick bedroom fun because no one takes them seriously. Because, you, lady... You, you're 300 pounds. I'm sorry. It's, it's Our society is judgmental. I mean, for all people who say, don't judge people, everyone judges people. That's just, it's such crap to say, oh, no, no one judges it. Well, everyone does. You all, you judge your own family members. Everyone is judgmental. So I don't want to hear any of this crap that, and it, it is completely, it's complete hypocrisy to say, I want a man I'm attracted to that has made it. And that's the thing. Ladies don't want just Chad. They want Chad to be rich. They want him to be successful. They want a guy who's educated too. It's so ridiculous with these ladies. I mean, it's, I mean, the way he said it. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, so she's like, I get this highly attractive man, this giga, Chad or, or Tyrone or whatever, and but she can just eat and do whatever she wants. It, it, there, the selfishness of of these women, going. I want a man that I'm highly attracted to, but I don't care what he wants. Men don't want overweight women. Ladies, you can get again. You can get as angry as you want. They've done the studies across different societies, and men like fit women. That men like skinny women. Now. Some guys like maybe a, when I say curvier, you know, maybe instead of a size two or a four, maybe a size eight or a 10, possibly. But that does not mean we want overweight. Man, this woman is obese. She is 400 pounds. We're going to see her in a second. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous to sit here and go, I want men I'm attracted to. I can just do what I want and you need to just love me unconditionally. You don't love men. Ma'am, if this man was, what if this guy was 500 pounds? Would you love him the same way? I bet you wouldn't. Let's get in the profiles. So on Daily Illusions, we always have the great profile. This is the great profile of the day. And she's 28, and you can see her just, just a great, this, she just does exactly what I've said. She doesn't have anything written. She just has a couple of nice pictures of herself and you know, just lets the men come to her. So here she is on this boat, you know, nice little dress. She looks like, and uh, I don't know what's going on here. And then she, here she is on this boat again. You know, she's just got a nice smile. Her hair's done. You know, she's got her nails done. She continues. And here she is having that, you know, from the friends. Now she might be having a hot girl somewhere. I don't know. You know, she's 28 years old, she's over the wall, but you know, she's very attractive. She's got a nice chest. Her, you know, she's smiling. Look, and they're, they're not yelling. They're having a good time. They're all like, you know, maybe they've been drinking, have a good time. It's the way to do it. Now I do, I've got a second profile. This one was so short, so I did a, another good profile. And again, it's just ladies, keep it simple. I mean, this this men are so simple. This is exactly it. I mean, this woman gets tons of swipes. She has tons of men who want to be in relationships because she's fit. And this lady's 24, uh, again, does not have anything written, just has great pictures. Her picture is even a little better than this other one. So here she is, you know, in the outdoors. Doesn't say she's outdoorsy. She just actually is in the outdoors. Here she is again, you know, again, just nice little uh, outdoorsy pictures, same kind of thing. You know, just, I don't know what the deal is here, but just having a good time making it. Again, she had someone take her pictures. Everyone, this is men and women, have someone take your damn pictures. Stop doing selfies, she continues. Here she is a guy doing some sort of run. I mean, she's fit and attractive. She's watched her diet. She actually is a little curvy. She's got some booty on her or whatever, but she's smiling. Every picture, her hair's done. Continues having a, a beer with her friend. I mean, she just looks approachable, nice young woman. I mean, this all you older ladies with all your vitriol and your crap you throw in here and all your damn requirements, learn from these young ladies. This is what men want. Even if you're older, you can learn from this. You don't have to come in all your anger. If you're so mad at men, Stop dating for a while. In her final picture, again, her hair's done again. She's with her, you know, friend. They're both smiling at us. It's a candid little selfie. It's a, it's a nice selfie. It's, a, it's just a, the sun's behind her. Ma'am, you get a round of applause. Both of you get a round of applause.
And look, I've said this before. I, I'm a, a disciple of Kevin Samuels. You just found the channel. Welcome. Uh, and I've always said men and women belong together. I'm not, you know, I'm not MGTOW and I, I, that's completely okay. If you guys are MGTOW, you know, you do you. Uh, I don't, that's, I don't personally describe to that. I always say we, we, we belong together and we're better together. But uh, unfortunately, the ladies aren't like those two. Let's get in today's nonsense. So she is 35 and you can see her up there. Let's just be very clear. That's a huge bitch. And then says, she's a lawyer and says about me in a certain place for weeks, super toxic, lawyer, dog mom, lover of plants and has the justice scales and two dogs and a plant. And ma'am, I have this for you. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, <laughs> right, let me tell you, we don't care. I, I find it fascinating. Now, I don't know if she's lying, but of course she says she works out often, ma'am. So it's definitely this. Stop the cow. Yeah, you don't work out all that much, ma'am, or you don't watch your diet because you know, you're a big girl. And then you're talking about super toxic. Man, why would you, you think a man would want to deal with your crap, ma'am? And you know, she didn't even clean up behind her and she's well past this. The ball, the ball, the ball. No man on earth can make you fall. And see, here's the thing. Again, guys who have pictures like this don't get swiped on. They don't get bedroom fun. She still gets thirsty guys and simps. And again, the, who's ruined the dating market is simps who swipe on women like this and give her bedroom fun, give her any attention. This woman should have no attention. We don't care that you're a dumb lawyer. Ma'am, are you gonna pay for our stuff, you being a lawyer? We, it's, it, we don't care. We do care that you're not fit. We do care that you're saying you're super toxic. Your, your arm is like a dude's arm, ma'am. All right, let's let continue. <laughs> So she is 37 and uh, has her dumb pronouns and says about me, I'm a genuine person, expect the same return. Man, what does this mean? What do you mean you're a genuine person? Also, she's got kids down there. Great, she's a single mom at almost 40 years old. I love to laugh sometimes at things I shouldn't. Sure, ma'am, what does this tell us about you? I'm open to new experiences and viewing through a different perspective. Ma'am, wh ma what the hell are you getting at? It's a bunch of crap. <laughs> right. Now she continues. She then says, a pro and con of dating me. Pro, I like to keep it simple. I am open-minded. Sure, you're kinky, man. Got it. Con, I don't have always have a lot of time. <laughs> Ladies, if you're so damn busy, then don't date. Why are you, are you putting this stuff in here about being so freaking busy? Then you just tells us you, you're a single mom, almost 40 years old going, I'm really, really busy, so I don't have time. And they talk about all wasting time. Ma'am, you're swiping with men. I guarantee you're swiping only on Chad. He's pump and dump you, of course he's. I don't know why. Now that said, I can't fathom Chad would deal with this one because here was her main picture. And I mean, she is literally round. I mean, she says she's well rounded. Yeah, ma'am, you're actually round. <laughs> And then she says, if I could only eat one meal for the rest of my life, it would be any type of tacos, burritos, and tostadas. And this is exactly the problem. You overweight ladies think you can be three, four, five hundred pounds and a guy that you're attracted to is still gonna take the deal. Like, I'm not saying you're not still human but you have to take responsibility for your own actions you keep eating tacos burritos and tostadas all the time and you're i mean she looks like the penguin from the damn from the damn batman movies i mean she, ma'am you're double the, the normal man size and talking about you're on here wanting to date what what kind of man do you really think would take the deal i mean do you guys watch tv how many high value attractive men even average men want to be with women who are round <laughs> Just this. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. She then says to get way too excited about old school Disney shows. Ma'am, I found the perfect man for you. Oh, it's a lot the hair, the pod. When you But see exactly what I'm talking about. Overweight women don't want men like that. She wouldn't want a man like that. She wants a guy that she's attracted to and doesn't care about the man. It's just you all become so selfish. And this is again the Lizzo effect, having these massively overweight women getting theirs and all women now think that they're gonna get theirs too. You're not. I'm here to tell you, you're absolutely never, it's never gonna happen, ma'am. I have to send you on your way. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. We continue. Essentially, he's trying to say like, why is it okay for women to have preference, but men can't? Right. What we like 
is discrimination. What you like is a preference. What men like is demonized, but what women like, it's almost just accepted. I agree. I'm not going to question. What if I told you okay. that you were dumb, I'm not short, and broke because you wanted to date a guy that was taller and made more money than you and worked uh, better in every standing? It sounds foolish, doesn't it? For it me to does. say that about you. Hold like, on. It's so why is it okay for you to say that men that want to date younger women want to manipulate them? Damn. It I want you to really let that sink in. <laughs> like, for real. I want you to let that sink in. Notice how what you wanted wasn't demonized, but what men want is demonized. When a guy wants a younger girl, it's manipulation. When a woman wants an older man that's more seasoned, it's okay. She knows her worth. Of course. And I wanted to show that because th this also relates to what we're talking about here. Women are basically, uh, whatever reason, body positivity doesn't include men. It only includes women. So not only are men, you know, made fun of or, or you know, again, demonized for dating the most attractive women that they can. A man who's made it in his 40s, who is fit and attractive, can date women in their 20s. And he's, of course, oh my God, he's, uh, we want to say at the file, starting with a P, that kind of crap has been thrown at him. But, you know, when overweight women get their get their skinny guy, we've seen that account with that, that, that the Giga Chad guy who's got the beard. And it's one of the previous episodes, and this, the lady's like 350 pounds, and, and she's you know complaining, oh, people make fun of us all the time. Yeah, man, because this, I don't know what's wrong with your dude to be with one. And now I'm not saying, and the thing is, women take this 1% of things, or less than 1% of men, and you're like, well, there's all kinds of guys who like overweight women. No, there's not. No, there's not. Not self-respecting men. Not the men you're swiping on. Since you're again, I wouldn't have a channel if, if you know men swipe 62% of the time. If women also swipe 62% of the time, and women overweight women were swiping overweight men, we'd have no problem. But they don't. The data doesn't show that. They still swipe on Chad and Tyrone, and then think they're settling on a guy who looks like them. You're out of your damn minds. Let's continue. So she's 45, and you can see her. <laughs> see right up there. Let's just say it. That's a huge bitch. And she is uh, says about me, about me likes live music. Can the best can be the best wing girl, ma'am. What, what do we need a wing girl for, ma'am? <laughs> sure, like bowling and not good at it. Okay, ma'am. Enjoy entertaining friends and family. Isn't afraid to get dirty and uh, doing some volunteer work as a DRI project, ma'am. What? Okay, sure. What are we, what are we getting at here, ma'am? Your dating profile. I'm not in a texting back and forth, phone calls, video chat, or meetup desire sure for a better response rate be verified yes so she's she's also getting played around because men don't take her seriously i mean ladies you're just she's again she's a single mom in here into the danger zone and going why can't i get guys to take me seriously again fit feminine friendly women get taken seriously they get taken on real dates if you keep not getting taken on dates that is on you not men the men don't care you're going to get guys who just go, I just want to get top from you. Sorry, ma'am. That's just, you, that, again, you have to take responsibility. She continues about you. Handy. <laughs> I said, come fix my house of Chad shirt. One million dollars. <throat> well, and she's going to confirm this, by the way. Adventurous, travel, mentally and financially stable. <laughs> One million dollars. And yes, I'm going to keep using doc Dr. Evil and memeing the hell out of you ladies talk about travel and all this money shit. Ma'am, see, this is the problem. This woman not only wants tingles and wants a guy who's going to fix up her house, but also on her financial level. And then, then she continues, not afraid of the kitchen. <laughs> So not only that, the guy has to cook for her and her kids. Do, do, do you ladies get it? That your thing down there is not worth all this? What do you, ma'am, what exactly do you bring to the table? What are you going to do for the man? What if I don't need my house fixed? I don't care about your DIY skills. I care about fit, feminine, friendly or none of those things. It's just you're entitled. You're all, all you ladies who write these profiles are entitled. I'm not saying all women. I'm saying these women write these profiles with all their requirements. By the way, if you didn't see the last episode, episode 253, we had an all-time record. 42 requirements in one profile. 54-year-old lady with 42 requirements. <laughs> I mean, sure, sure, it's totally realistic. You're all you're all queens and gods at 10. Uh, she then says, if you match last, write a message first. Man, we don't have to. See, again, you'll know when men are interested because they will make effort to see you ladies. If you get no interest, if you get no effort, 
If they only try to pump and dump you, that is on you, not men. We continue. So on that note, she is 54 and she says, not boring bookkeeper at my own. So she thinks she's a not boring bookkeeper. Ma'am, I don't know what bookkeepers are super exciting. And of course, she's up there with, uh, and let's just be super clear. She does. That's a huge bitch. And she's up there with Roger Federer. Ma'am, I have this for you. See, Roger Federer's wife, ma'am, she's young and fit and attractive. Mm -hmm. He would laugh you off the... If he saw you and you were hitting on him, he'd do this. <laughs> and all you ladies think you're going to get young chads. You think you're going to get younger, especially the ladies in, the, in their 50s. We've seen it over and over again. They want men younger than them, more attractive than them, but also rich. You're, I mean, it's, you're honestly all... You're all this. <laughs> The bitch is crazy. It's never going to happen. If the guy has to be younger, it is younger and maybe is more attractive than you, he probably isn't you're gonna he's gonna need your resources then. But you don't respect men who don't make as much money as you or not as educated as you, so you wanted to be rich and hot and charismatic, and it's it it's damn crazy, ma'am. This lady's 300 pounds as well. She continues. Hi, I'm 100 percent single. I bet you are, ma'am, and so are you. Uh, what if I'm not, ma'am? What <laughs> You can't make this shit up. You can't make this what shit up. What the hell are you talking about? She talks about where she lives in a certain place monthly. Sure. Genuine, la genuine laugh easily. Okay, fine. How the hell do we know that, ma'am? Can find fun in anything with the right person. Love tennis. Yeah, well, obviously, ma'am. You're with your pal Roger Federer that would laugh you off the planet. Hiking. Hiking more, taking lots of nature pics. Hiking more, taking lots of nature pics. Okay, she's trying to say, yeah, here we go again. I'm getting fit, but you men need to wait for me while I get fit. So live near the beach. Love exploring new places, past faves, Thailand, Morocco, and Italy. And ma'am, we know what you're getting at. Stop. Stop it all. Yeah, we know when you ladies put talk about traveling in there, you want us to take you traveling. It's, it's So that's what you're saying. You're saying, I've been to these places, now take me some more you know, expensive places, Roger Federer. Maybe you're out of your damn mind. Here's the, here's the thing. Again, if a guy had pictures of him with like cheerleaders and models on his profile all over it, you ladies would be like, that's so gross. Stop doing this, ladies. Get taught, stop talking about famous people. She continues and she's got a bunch of emojis. Like she's 15 years old. She just likes theater and she likes, what is that? She likes gambling, except the dice thing. And she likes the paint. She likes music. She's like, or she likes pizza. I mean, what a shock there, ma'am. <laughs> she, she likes travel, of course, photography, and she likes cats. Ma'am, I have to do it. I'm gonna send you on your way. Spoiler. Yeah, Here's a spoiler. You will die alone. <laughs> <laughs> we continue. So she is 46. She likes me on the she liked me on the app too. So I, of course I went like this. Oh hell no! She says about me. She was struck by the simple truth that sometimes the most ordinary things can be made ordinary, extraordinary, simply by doing them with the right people. May I have this for you? They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Damn, you're in your damn 40s and you're talking about all this romantic crap. It's it's so it's it's inspired. It's unrealistic to talk about this. She continues. I'm very well-rounded. Yep. If we're going to see that in just a second. My interests range from sports, music, and Broadway shows. I'm very active and enjoy doing Zumba two to three times a week. Okay, she's going to bring this Zumba thing up. And she says she's active multiple times. Let's remember that as we continue. She then says favorite quality person. Of course, she's going to give two. Trustworthy and sense of humor. First of all, ma'am, you only care if it's sense of humor from Chad. If it's, I guarantee if it's a guy who looked like you, you wouldn't care about it. And she's going to continue. She then said after work, you can find me doing Zumba. Okay, so she's talked about Zumba and how fit and, fit and active she is. And then this was her picture. Dude's biggest lady I've ever seen. Ah, that's a huge bitch. 
Ma'am, what the hell are you talking about? You do Zumba all the time. Stop the cap. It's, and again, you, you, the, all these ladies, no, you haven't seen me yet, but I am certainly fit, okay? So she's basically swiping on men much fitter than her and just talking about, just lying and going, I do Zumba all the time. Good for you, ma'am. I mean, this is again a guy who's like saying a guy who's, oh, I'm totally broke, but uh, I'm working a lot, you know, but you guys should just deal with it. You ladies who wouldn't deal with take the deal either. Ma'am, swipe on men who look like you, but see, they don't want, they don't get the tingles from them, so they don't swipe on them, and it's so ridiculous. Ma'am, you're way past this. The ball, the ball, the ball. Yeah. No man on earth can, can make you fall. Ladies, if you're overweight, even past 40, you're not going to get tingles anymore. You're not. There's not, guys are not, they're, they'll come over and pump it. There were some dudes, I'm not saying all, a lot of guys would never, uh, <laughs> me being one of them, but yeah, you're just not going to get all the tingles and you're not going to get all that until you become what men want. We continue. I yeah, I just put this in here. I want uh, men to, re to remember, you know, this is why we are not blackpilled. You know, you get fit regardless of, I don't care how tall you are, I really don't, because I've seen tons of guys who aren't six feet tall, especially when you meet in person. I get it on the apps, the women are gonna always put six feet tall or more. But if you're fit and you, you know, you're on your purpose, you have money, you will find a success. There will be women who will take the deal and will, will gladly take the deal and they'll, they'll, you'll be chad to them. So, I mean, don't, don't ever give up and say, you know, so if you're not on your purpose, you're not in shape. Get in shape, get fit, and you'll have tons of women who will want to take the deal regardless, you know, and, again, and then of course, you know, obviously you gotta, you can't just be in shape and, you know, men, we have so much more pressure than women do. It's so, it's so much harder day for us. Yes, we also have to be successful. So yeah, keep working out, stay on your purpose. Don't worry about women, you know, get to your thirties and forties and you'll have day and success. And I just want to always remember that we are the prizes, not these women, because especially when they get in their forties, they think their success matters. It doesn't. Unfortunately, you go to the man's path as a woman, it doesn't matter. We don't care about your success. Men don't care about women's success. I'll keep saying it. The reality of life is men are success objects and women are beauty objects. Stay on your purpose, gentlemen, and get fit. And uh, you know, yeah, you'll be chatting to somebody. All right, continue. So she is 42 and has her dumb pronouns, a teacher, and says about me, hello, I am, and gives her name again. Sure, ma'am, it's right up there, ma'am. I'm very new to the site. Okay, sure, ma'am. However, I'm the mother of two adult kids. <sighs> ma'am. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Okay, if they're adults, we don't even, doesn't even matter, but I should get this. I'm a PhD. She continues. I love spending time with family, cooking, gym. Now she talks about gym, poetry night, traveling. <laughs> Losers may try, no one makes pizza pie like the one he... Hey man, I'm talking about food, you're talking about traveling. Yeah, by the way, she's gonna put it right here. Rock climbing and salsa dancing. I am also looking to meet a man 5'11 or taller, even though she's only 5'3 for a meet and greet at Starbucks. Or, here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Now, once again, you know, of course, she guys be nine inches taller than her for some strange reason. And then she's trying to tell you, uh, you, by the way, take me on a real date. Take me to meet and greet at Starbucks. So, you know, don't, you know, don't just try to pump and dump me. Well, that's, ma'am, if that's all you keep getting, that's what you get, ladies. If men only send you D-pics, now I'm not excusing that, but if they only do bedroom fun type activities, that is on you, not men again. Fit, feminine, friendly women get taken on real dates. I'll say it. Give it a try. Get fit. Become feminine, wear high heels, wear dresses, wear skirts, wear things men like, and get friendly and stop being, you know, living in all your drama and trauma and see how your dating options change. Anyway, we continue. And you can see her right here. Let's again be super clear on this lady as well. That's a huge bitch. She then says it's meant to be if the vibe is right and we both keep it 100% minus the BS. Sure, ma'am. Ma'am, you have two kids. You And she says, and excess baggage, ma'am, you have kids. And she keeps talking about how she's the gym, man. We can see you're not all that fit, ma'am. You're way past this, too. The wall! The wall! Ladies, as you get older, if you are not in shape, you're not going to get the men you're going to be highly attracted to. Ma'am, are you swiping on men who are twos and threes? 
because she's like a four at best and she's like talking about the gym man we can see you're not all that fit i mean she's not morbidly obese but she's not super fit either and this is bad literally in the bathroom shower taking this picture get ladies and gentlemen i don't care who you are don't take pictures of yourself in a damn bathroom it's so disgusting <laughs> never do it again you're goddamn right continue all right, final profile, and of course, it's going to be full of complete delusion and ridiculousness. I hope you're ready. So, she is 39, and has her dumb pronouns, and is a director, and says about me, ambitious and curvy. Pizza the hut! This would like it be like a guy leading with, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not ambitious, and I have a micro D. Okay, leading with the profile. Ladies, we don't care about your ambition and we don't care that if we do care that you're fat, we don't want it. We don't want curvy women. We want fit, feminine, friendly women. Get it through your damn heads. Nerdy, sweet, but sassy. <laughs> How about new? We don't want sassy women either, ma'am. Where did you come from? You have no clue what a man wants whatsoever. She did use. And always up for an adventure. Of course, you all want exciting, adventurous guys that take you around the world. We know, ma'am. Perfect height for hugs. Jeep girl. Beach babe. Novice fly fisher. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just... <laughs> oh, mom of two boys. A suckling back laugh. Ma'am, I have this for you. Man, yeah, great. Again, you're so here she is, you know, almost the danger zone going, I've got two kids and you guys need to take the deal. And she wants more kids. Man, so you want a guy that you're highly attracted to because you've made it, you're a director of something, and you're like, put more babies in me. Why would he, ma'am? She did use no hookups or EM, ma'am. Stop the cat. <laughs> we all know you do hook up with Chad. Stop saying this. Looking for a real partner to laugh, cook, and travel. <laughs> One billion, gajillion, fifillion. Shabadoodle, million, shabadoodle, million. Yeah. Ma'am, how are you traveling all the time with two kids? Okay? And you know, she says, and grow old with, must love kids. So yeah, love my kid. Ma'am, what is in it for the man once again to be all the things you want? What are you going to do for him? All you ladies with kids and baggage and all this crap, never see it from the man's point of view. What do what you just, I'm here. Love my kids. Love me for what I am, even though she is this. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. It is like, just love me for me. But you have to be, you just can't make this up. Favorite quality in person, honesty, and a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Make me laugh, Chad. Love my kids, Chad. Take me around the world, Chad. But I just can be fat and, and have all this baggage, but you need to deal with it. I mean, do you see, hear yourselves, ladies? It's asinine to talk like this. A couple nice pictures and go, hey, I'll do what it takes to, to land a man and learn what men want. Get it to the gym and get fit, and, especially when you have kids. Why would he do it? Why would a man that you're so, a guy around your age, who's attractive and fit with no kids already, why would he deal with your kids when you're overweight already, ma'am? You're 300 pounds, she continues. And you just see, I mean, just a humongous lady and then says my real life superpower is helping people find their own superpowers, ma'am, I have this for you. Don't listen to her, the bitch is crazy. <laughs> This is not even an average woman, okay? Going, I have a superpower. And this is, it's just so toxic. The modern media with these ladies, gentlemen and ladies, it's just so toxic. It's really, they're just full of themselves. So I don't know one man who walks around going, I'm a superhero. I, I like, I, I, I'm, I'm an actual superhero. I walk around. It, you just, you can't make this up. But, but she's not done with nonsense. She continues. She then says, let's break dating stereotypes by dating like our grandparents, respect, chivalry, and slow dancing. And ma'am, I have this for you. It is so self-centered and entitled to be like, I can be whatever I want, but I want chivalry and chemistry and romance from men I'm highly attracted to, who, who, attracted to who also are rich and on my financial level 
and have a high emotional intelligence and all these things you guys put in these profiles. I, I, if you've watched my channel and you, you just, you don't understand by that point how entitled the modern woman sounds when they say this crap. I, I don't even know what to tell you really. Just stop watching me and you know, just move on with your day. This is why gentlemen, you know, resonate to my channel because this is so absolutely ridiculous. When they're seeing this in the profiles, they think that they're all entitled to a top tier man. You're not. Ma'am, a guy who is a, a two or a three, who's a, high, a decent earning man, would be a good deal for you if he would deal with your kids. And you don't see it that way. None of you see it that way. And I will end it there for today. Thank you for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers, all our members. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you did not, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Really, it's free to do. It helps me out. Give the video a like if you liked it. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.